All right, today I have uh, on the bench parts to a ZF5 HP19. Um, this is came to me over the counter. I think it's probably out of maybe like a 2002 uh, 3 Series BMW. So it came into uh, one of my wholesale accounts with a leak out of the front, so they figured they would just drop the transmission, put a front seal in it, and put it back in the car and all will be well. So they called me and asked me about it and and I says, well, if it's the 5HP19, you're probably not gonna be able to get the converter out and a front seal will not fix it. So sure enough, I get a call back at, at the end of the day and she says, um, you're right, the converter's stuck in there. We're gonna bring it down here to see what's gotta be done uh, and give us a price on what it's gonna be to fix it. So we get it here, I knew it was a 5HP19. Uh, get a couple of pry bars. Converter came out fairly simple, but you know we have your typical uh, bushing. This is the old pump, and here is the pump bushing. So of course, when you have a 5 HP 19 and a leak out of the front, pretty much every time you're going to have to replace the pump. So I had. Um, you know, you hear stories uh, like Sonic's offers an oversized bushing, and uh, I think it's said from, you know, normal driving, the bushing wears out. Uh, you hear other, I uh, read other articles where they're saying that the worn regulator valve can cause the problem. But what I did was I actually called Erickson's, had a nice conversation with uh, Nate over there. Uh, he's real nice if you, you know, ever need any information. I buy a lot of parts from them. So uh, he says a very high percentage of why these uh, pumps, the pump bushing welds itself to the converter neck. This one really didn't. We actually came out fairly simple, but I mean, I mean this thing is totally chewed up. You know, it just, it, it totally comes right out. I'll give you a close-up shot of this. And of course, I have the new pump filter, uh, plastic sleeves. I also um, took the transmission apart to the center support um, to check the clutches to make sure that they're good because I don't want, you know, this guy coming back and saying you just sealed it. Now, this happened. So I actually did change a couple sets of clutches. I didn't get beyond the center support where the F clutch drum is, as you know, it has that problem with the sleeve and the DG drum, uh, that has a tendency to go bad. You know, you lose reverse, the drum goes bad. Um, so I was talking to him and he said uh, a very high percentage of what he sees every time he gets these in, in his shop, a high percentage of why these pump bushings get welded to the converter neck is because the converter clutch inside the converter goes bad. A lot of times it's metal to metal and then you have the particles flowing in and out and it's they're adhering themselves to the pump bushing until there really is no more clearance and then it just welds itself to the converter neck and it just spins out and tends to leak. He said every converter that he got back where the pump bushing is still welded to the converter neck, every one of them had a bad converter clutch. So he thinks that is a very high percentage uh, of why these bushings tend to spin out, you know, and then you have to, of course, replace the bushing, replace the converter, and just make sure everything else is nice and clean in there because you do have those particles uh, uh, flowing through the oil. So, I'll give you a close-up shot of what I'm doing here. Uh, I got my new pump, and of course, I will only use ZF. Uh, I have my new filter, which I'll give you a close-up shot of that, and it's Filtran made in Germany. And these are the two sleeves that go. I'll give you a close-up shot of this stuff. And I just wanted to mention one thing in this pump. You do have the flow control valve. So you want to make sure you take that out and clean it because if this thing gets stuck, you know, it's probably not going to move that great. Uh, all right, so let me just get a little closer here. We'll just do this real quick. And I just wanted to share that information with you. Um, 
because again I was curious myself um, and he again a high percentage could be the problem with is within the converter itself uh, being the convert clutch all right so I'll get a little closer here we'll just go over a couple of things and uh, I will be right back okay so real quick again I don't know if you can see that there is the new OE pump also transdoors part number I took all the wrapping and stuff off so here is the new pump body and gears lineup pin and it comes with a new front seal uh, I have the new o-ring for here and I have the new o-ring for here also all right this is quick here's the old one I mean this thing is really shut and somebody was working on this before uh, because the transmission was painted and you can see the silicone all over here I'm not sure what the problem was if it uh, had this problem they fixed it and then it happened again but anytime you know that we get these issues here uh, even if it is uh, caused by a converter um, I like to go with a new pump I know some people honestly when I ask them because other guys bring their uh, pump to me because I have the the tools to because you got to take the piston out you know here's the piston the, the, the Belleville spring um, you got to depress it and take the uh, where are they it has the split ring out and then you take the bolts out knock the body out and put the new one in so they bring it to me I swap it over for them um, and a lot of times they come with used stuff they don't even have the o-rings I got to switch over the o-rings and everything but Anytime this happens, I go with a, with a new pump. Here is the plate, all right? Um, this is okay, just wanna make sure this is nice and smooth here. That looks good. Uh, the converter, I'm uh, still waiting for it, do not have it yet, but the way to identify the torque converter is there is a six digit number. You won't, you won't be able to see it stamped in here. So this is 156203, so I give that number to my supplier and he crosses that over to his part number uh, so we get the correct converter all right and this happens i mean i get a lot of bmws here uh but you're also going to find this happens in you know in volkswagens and then i get emails with audis um saying that it's leaking out of the front but if it's leaking out of the front more than likely that's what's uh what's going on all right again uh, OE filter and I drain most of the fluid you know as much fluid as I can and I replace these uh, sleeves they normally break because uh, they're trying to get these things out you know they get very brittle so those I got new I got the o-rings somewhere around here I got new pump o-rings like I had said and I don't know where the other, uh, I gotta look for those. So anyway, if you can see these, this clutch is, is there's really nothing left on it. It's all flaked off. This is the C clutch that's in the pump. So that's why I just kind of like to open this and just see if anything is bad needs to be changed. So the C clutch was no good. I also put the E clutch in. You can see these are, a little burnt here so I swapped out those and I give them the variable you know if you want to put these in it's this much more if you don't want to put it in then you know I'll just stop the leak for for X amount but you know it's not cheap because you need a pump you need a converter you need a filter you know it all stuff is not not cheap okay uh, I think that's about it okay all right this here is what I wanted to show you okay so here 
you know, you got to take, in order to get it, uh, the sleeve out, the plastic uh, tube out, uh, you take this spring out, all right, and then once you do that, you're going to see this valve in here, like this flow control valve. So you want to just take this thing out. I would take this out and just rinse it down, clean all down in there, and just make sure this is nice and free. All right, then when you put it back together, it goes like this. You push this down and lock it in place. Oh, and I guess that's about it. So this is, again, a 3 Series BMW and had the typical uh, bushing spin out. Converter got stuck in there. This one here from the crap going in there also got scored up around here, around the outside, around the inside here. And I guess that's about it. So 5 HP 19 and typical uh, pump bushing uh, spun out. So, you know, if you do this, just uh, kind of clean the unit as best you can. Um, like I said, I took it down, I took it apart down to the center support, I drained as much fluid out. I don't think the shop has a flush machine, but I'm going to tell them to blow the lines out, maybe spray at least some solvent or something in there, um, and blow the lines out as best they can. And of course, they'll be adding new fluid when they put this back together. All right, also when you're putting these back together, you got a couple of rings on here. Uh, so I would just make sure you... Uh, grease these in real good so they uh, do not uh, open or spread as you're putting the pump in. Well, actually, when you when you put this together, you really got to, uh, because there's the seat clutch that sits in here, so I load everything up, and then I, you know, kind of use a, a vice grip or something to grab it, and then I set everything in at once, but um, just want to make sure these are greased in real good. You know, I Load it up with trans gel because as soon as it heats up, the trans gel will melt and uh, the rings will be in place and intact because um, they can uh, spread apart and break easily. You may not notice it. So just make sure they're greased in nice. And the rings here uh, are all steel. So just grease those up and uh, you shouldn't have any problem there. But these are the ones that you just got to be careful with. All right. Uh, I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next one.